Okay, so for this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is use text inside of Photopea since we're using this um, program as our, our Photoshop, but it's just a quick tutorial, kind of similar to Photoshop, but not Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to get a design on top of the text. Um, there are many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the basic way to do it. Let me just delete these. Um, layers really quickly so we can start from the beginning so first what you're going to do is go over to the T which is your text tool you're going to click the blank space that you have here and of course this is already let me go back to the basics actually let's first start by opening um, the the program so you should already have Photopea open you should have gone to file new it'll look like this here so usually it opens up where it has sh social here. Just go to screen, let's do the VGA. Now you have your beginning. And once you're here, you can go to image adjustments or um, image size. If you feel like this is too small, you can bump it up to a bigger size area, work area to work in. Then you're gonna go over to the letter T right here. Get your text. We can start off with a basic ABC. And if you have a font that you don't want to use, you can go over here to this area and change your font to be one where that you can, that the font is large enough that you can change the design on the font. If it's script like this, like a cursive, you're not going to be able to put a design on this. So you don't want a font like that. You're going to want to come in with a large enough font like this here where you can actually add a design onto the font. It's going to be black like this. That's why what you're going to do, once you have your black font, you're going to double click in the layer, go to pattern overlay, and then you're also going to add a drop shadow so that the shape looks like it's 3D. So you're not just adding text to the shape or a design, I should say, to the text. Pattern, design, you're not just adding a pattern or a design. You're going to also make it look 3D by adding in the drop shadow. Do you see here how your drop shadow is a soft gray? So what you can do is duplicate the layer. Now you see how black your shadow is. There's another way to do this as well where you don't have to duplicate the layer so we can just go back. Now it's still gray. Um, what you can do is change the direction of your drop shadow, the distance. See how far this is as I'm changing the distance. So it's like it's super far away, bring it closer. The opacity changes how dark or light it is. So we can go dark or lighter right in here. But for this assignment, I just want to see, do you know how to add a drop shadow here and to add text onto the, uh, I'm sorry, I had, I had how to add a pattern onto the design. So once you have your pattern here, there are other patterns here, simple patterns. Um, but there is a lot that you can do. You can even add a pattern in um, if you don't like your pattern that you've done there. But for this basic tutorial, just to get your feet wet, just so you can see what I want you to do, uh, make sure that you choose a pattern that's probably already here so it's easier for you so you're not going into something that will be too complex for you and you added here that is what the assignment is for you to do um, now if I want to make it super fancy now that I have two here I can go to the bottom layer I can take the pattern off just put it to black again and I go back up to the top pattern move it on top here and then really make it look like it pops off the page and I have a 3D effect added onto the pattern. This is your goal for this assignment. Turn it into me once you're done. Thanks so much for watching.